In fact, we have a lot of company. Plenty of fun events happening around the Bay Area right now with the holidays. One of the top might be Zoo Lights. That's happening at the Oakland Zoo. All right, yes. Joining us this morning, Katie Garchar from the Oakland Zoo. And she brought with her, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of wildlife. I'm really not as wimpy as I might appear. Uh, thanks for coming in. Tell me who you got here with us. Uh, thank you so much for having us, first of all. Um, this is a coma, and he is oh a Dumeril's boa. They are native to Madagascar. Okay, and so tell us about, like, I think he likes, <laughs> he really likes what Frank. What are we supposed to do? You've talked about the two finger touch. Oh, holy moly. When you have, is this, is this one of those snakes that you, that is visitor friendly in terms of? Yes, he is. So uh, we bring Akoma out for special education programs. So he's been touched by thousands of kids. He's a great animal ambassador for, um, for um, he, the zoo. How big, how yeah. big is he and how big will he get if he's in the proper environment? Yeah, so he's a medium-sized boa. He's over five feet right now. He won't get too much bigger than that. And that's why a lot of people like to have them as pets because they don't get too much bigger and they're pretty docile. And, and oh, they constrict, but do they have teeth too? I mean, Oh, yes, they oh, definitely yeah. okay. have teeth. They are constrictors, so they bite their prey so and they'll wrap doing? around them. Yeah, My arm, arm is good. He's not squeezing me. He's pretty familiar with me. Um, he's comfortable, right? He really well, likes Frank. Uh, well, he does you know, really like Frank. He's, he's why are like, they so? Saying? They seem fairly friendly, boas, at least, maybe not in the wild. But why? Why are? Why is he friendly? <laughs> <I guess that's laughs> yes. Why does he Great like question. Frank so much? Yes. Great question. <laughs> He is very used to being held, so we take him out and we hold oh him pretty God. often, um, <laughs> and he's used to being handled. If I was out in the wild, however, I would not go and grab a boa or any other snake, Probably even just out idea. here. Um, it, it not a good idea. Not used to being misconception? Held. Yes. What is the biggest misconception? Oh, the biggest misconception about a snake, I would say, um, let's see, is that they're slimy. Yep, They're obviously slimy. not slimy. Oh, um, he has no venom, no poison. I would never hold a venomous snake. A lot of people think that all snakes are venomous. Um, but he's a constrictor. And yep. what does he eat? He eats, if he was in the wild, he would eat small mammals. He could even eat birds and some reptiles. Uh, but at the zoo, we feed him rats. Rats. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's talk about this uh, holiday at the zoo because you got zoo lights coming up, which is a really cool event. Can you talk about zoo lights and what people can expect yes. when they come? Yeah, zoo lights is a great holiday tradition at the Oakland Zoo. Um, it started last weekend and it'll go till January 1st. Um, it's closed oh. on Christmas and Christmas Eve. Basically, the zoo is decked out in thousands of lights. There's um, a light show in the meadow. There's music playing. The train is all decorated. It's great for the whole entire family. It's great for all ages. Yeah, really. we have information on your screen for people on how you get in, and members, of course, uh, have some little perks and there. A lot, a lot of people forget about going to the zoo. It is such a great day, especially the Oakland Zoo. You're tucked away up there in the hills off Golf Links. And it's just a great experience. You know, I agree with you. It's an incredible experience for any age. Doesn't, Any day. Doesn't this? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh my doesn't this this snake love Frank? I don't know why, <laughs> uh, but yes, he does. He definitely wants cologne. to go that direction this whole entire time we're yeah. talking. Okay, let's talk about uh, what people can be, do at home. You know, you may not have a bowl constrictor, but you yeah, know, have you here? Let's talk about you know, be just more green and just more wildlife friendly. I think. Excellent. Yes, uh, we do actually have a green tip of the month. Oh. And it's about ecotourism. Have you guys heard of ecotourism? I have before? not. Um, well, it's basically a responsible travel into nature that conserves the environment, improves the local well-being of the animals and people. Uh, so, in other words, uh, don't pay to pose and take pictures with exotic species, exotic animals. I've seen that happen. Yeah, it might be really cool and it'd be, you know, cool to post on social media and your friends to see, but oh these wow. inter industries don't often have oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the animal's best interest in mind. And it can be a very, um, very stressful experience for the animals, even yeah, and, if it's cool for us. There's like a big difference, I think, between just taking a picture and between learning and you guys educating, exactly. which, is, which is an amazing yes. part so, of it. All right. Right. And the name of the snake again? His name is Akoma, a coma. but he is a Dumeril's boa okay. from Madagascar. Well, we like Akoma. He likes you, too. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Katie, thank you so much. All thank right. you so much, right. guys. Let's throw this up. The Oakland Zoo is open daily from uh, 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. Admission is uh, 1875 for adults, 1475 for ages 2 through 14, or 65 through 75. Children under 2 and adults older than 76, y'all getting free, and it's a great take. So uh, Good thank you for coming out. Oh, and if you guys want any more information on any of the stuff we talked about, please visit our website, oaklandzoo.org.